Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I have my FabFitFun add-ons. Yeah, they came in an entirely separate box from my FabFitFun box because I did too many additional selections and too many add-ons and I couldn't get them all in one box. So let's get in here and see what I've got. When I open the box up, that's what I've got. I know, I'm slightly embarrassed. I got it all for a really good deal. And as with all of my videos, I will try and show you down here so you will know what they were worth and what I paid. Some of these are gifts and I have a mystery bag, so I'm really happy about that. So let's just reach in and get this thing started. Actually move the box to the ground. It is so heavy and so cumbersome that I was afraid I'd drop it if it was up here. The first thing that I chose, and this is so cute, it is a set of three Lily Pulitzer candles. We are huge Lily Pulitzer fans in my family. I like her, my daughter likes her, even my granddaughters like her. So she is a very popular around here. And this was just three votive sized candles. I actually do remember that this was $21 is what it cost. I don't recall and I will try and find out what its original value was. So we have three slightly different candles and that is what that one looks like. And it is just a small candle. When we open it up, it's just a candle on the inside. It's bigger than a votive, but smaller than like, you know, the Yankee Candle's smallest one? It's right around there, I'd say. It's very floral and fresh. I like it a lot. So I have three of these. This is, and I have said this so much lately and changed nothing. I thought maybe back here, <laughs> I know you guys are getting tired of hearing me say that, but I just thought this would be a really pretty decoration and we love Lily Pulitzer, so I had to pick it up. And next to expedite time, I have grouped my daily concepts products. I just like their products and they're always on sale in the FabFitFun boxes. And it's been where I've been getting my loofahs lately. So I have the daily concepts, your mesh sponge, I think $5. I have the daily concepts, daily back scrubber, and it's just a big back scrubber. And most of their items, other than the mesh sponge, come with one of these, and they stick really well to the tile. And this is the back scrubber. This one was for my husband. He is going to love it. It is so rough. Can you guys see how rough this is? He is going to love this. And next, for whichever one of us gets there first, although I will admit with my sensitive skin, I am a little nervous about this, but it is the exfoliating gloves. And I love the idea of this, just with my regular soap being able to exfoliate and not always having to drag in exfoliant. And I actually thought when I got it, he's left-handed and I'm right-handed, so I could give him one and I could take one. Although I bet they're the same on both sides, so I bet I way overthought that. <laughs> Moving on. So these are <laughs> just gloves. They're just exfoliating gloves. And again, they come with one of these nice little hanging, and you get two of these. See how rough that is? Exfoliating gloves, so we'll both like that. And the last Daily Concepts thing, and this is for me, is the Daily Concepts Your Body Towel Wrap. And it's just one of the towel wraps. I'm not gonna take this out because it's a towel wrap, and you guys know what that looks like. But you just wrap it around yourself, and I wear a robe for like nine months of the year. I get out of the shower and immediately put a terry robe on. But there are those couple months right there in the heat of summer where it's just a little too much to be in a robe and I prefer to be in a nice towel wrap. So I thought I would give this a try since I like all of their other products. Okay, next I have a Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper in Pumpkin Lip Plumper in Pumpkin Spice. Yes, pumpkin spice. I was gonna say, is it pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice? That is what it looks like, and I know. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking pumpkin spice, really, for you, orange? It didn't look so orange in the picture, so I, so, <laughs> so I had high hopes. It is pumpkin spice. That is exactly what it looks like. And yet, so for some reason, since it's a plumper, I really wanna try it. You know what, we're gonna try it, because if it doesn't work, oh, you, because if it doesn't work, I can pass it along to my daughter. She won't mind if I use it once. Wow, we are working this. Oh, it's made its way up. I took it down and pumped it like 50 times. That is what it looks like. Oh, I have purple on. I kind of want to try it anyway, right? Yeah, let's try it anyway. Well, that was a really interesting decision I made right there. If you're an artist and you work with palettes, what do purple and orange make? Brown? Well, I'm gonna persevere and go through this with brown lips. I don't feel any plumping. I don't feel any minty yet. It doesn't have much of a scent. It feels kind of, mm, there's a little bit of tingling. 
just a minuscule amount. So I chose that because my new thing is lip plumping things. I just got that Sephora one, which was on sale and on sale it was like $8 and it's just the Sephora brand lip plumper and I am loving it, but I ordered this before I got that. Next, I have the Coco Floss Delicious Mint and I chose this because frankly, they made me. They have these Coco, oh, it's getting tinglier. They have these Coco Flosses in almost every edit sale. I think they're like $5. Again, I will try and let you know here. And in the real world, they're like nine or something like that. And they come in a lot of different flavors. And I thought, you know, if I like them, this is kind of like the daily scrubbers. I know I like them. So when I see them in the edit sale, I pick them up. It could be the same way with this. Oh, it smells so minty and nice. Oh my goodness. So that is what it looks like. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. It's tooth floss. Can't make it sexy. It's just tooth floss. But I can tell you, it is so minty that without touching it or just, it it smells delicious. So we will see how waxed it is. If you have any questions about this, let me know below and I'm happy to share my thoughts. Okay, my lips are en fuego. It has kicked into some plumper. So maybe it had to work past the liquid matte lip that I have on, which was that purple because I did a kind of purple eye and I just decided to go purple today, but it's working its way through that matte right to my lips. And I feel like, I feel like I wanna talk like this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna persevere and I'm gonna try and talk normal. Next I have, and I am very excited about this. It is the Beach Waver Good Vibes Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I know, Beach Waver. I love my Beach Waver. I mean, see, it gives me these nice Shirley Temple ringlets. I know. I keep trying to find the perfect sp setting spray because it does give me great ringlets. They just don't last, but I like it. I like the little bit of oomph it gives my, and now shampoo and conditioner. And I just finished up that R Co television shampoo and conditioner, which I did not love. It was okay. I felt like it left me a little dry and I felt like it didn't smell like I, uh oh, well that's not gonna be easy to fix. I don't know that I can do that up here. I just tore the little tab off. Let's try the other one. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the other one off easier. So that was the shampoo. Let's see if we can get the tab off the conditioner. I'll try and be more patient. Okay, this one's working. I just wanna get an idea of if we like the scent. Oh, it smells coconutty and nice. It smells beachy. I like that. I can't wait to use that. So I will let you know if you have any interest, I will let you know how this works. It is the moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo says with coconut milk and the conditioner says with coconut oil. So those things in the old days would have scared me away, but I'm here to tell you now I am looking for anything, especially since we can't get out and get haircuts, I will take anything that will moisturize these ends. My hair is getting ridiculously long. I am so tempted to cut it myself. There's no way it ends well. There's just no way that ends well. It says that it has a hydroionic alpha bond multiplier. I don't know what that is, but hopefully it means awesome hair. And it says on the back, the aroma experience is Bondi Beach Day. Bondi or Bondi Beach. Let me know, Michelle. Okay, next we have, because it's a sign of the times, this is a little three pack. It said I was getting a three pack of masks. And I was like, I don't remember ordering any masks, thinking they meant like moisturizing masks. No, I ordered this three pack of face masks because of the time we live in, when we go outside, we have to have masks on. I mean, I think it's even the law now that if you go into a public place, you have to, around me, you have to have a mask. After I ordered it, I did see several people say, this is crazy, these are silly thin, and you know, if I'm going out, I want protection, but I had them coming. Oh, they're, they're kind of just hunks of polyester. It's one thin, but it does seem very, very tightly woven. Can you guys tell how thin that is? is one thin piece and it has the ear loops. I can't do it because of my, but it has the ear loops already in it. Too much, too many lips also on fire lips. And it came with three. I have the pink, the black, and the blue. And because I know a lot of you guys care, this is the other piece of paper in there. So I would say it is a product of China. That just really doesn't bother me, but I know that a lot of people are trying to avoid that, so I just wanted to let you guys know. I would actually be shocked if half or three quarters of these things that I have sitting in front of me didn't come from China. Like, let's see, the Grande Lips, does it tell me? Oh, made in the USA. So my pumpkin fire lips were made in the USA. That's good to know. 
The Cocoa Floss was made in Italy. As I'm putting these away, I was just flipping things over. The Daily Concepts items seem to be made in Mexico. So we have things from everywhere. Next, I have an Amy Kestenberg wallet. And this is what that looks like. Actually, I don't think it's what the wallet looks like. I think that's the case the wallet is in. It is a nice bag, like you get a purse bag for this lovely pink Amy Kestenberg wallet. I need a new, new wallet and it's nice and slim. I thought I might like to try that. It has several credit card places and then just one money place, just a nice, thin, uncomplicated coin slots, credit card slots, money slots. You know, sometimes that's just what I need. And it's an Amy Kestenberg, so it's a great brand. And again, I'll put it here, but I think I got a crazy good deal on it. Okay, next we have a cold therapy massage roller and it's Gaiam Relax. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but that is what it looks like. This really intrigued me when I saw the picture of it. Let's get in here and take this out and see what we've got. It showed her doing, trying to reach around and do her own back and I have people around here that will go into a, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your situation. But it's just a wooden piece that they have fit a silver ball down into. And the woman was just, because it's cold and just working out her muscles, actually it does feel, I imagine down your back and down your spine, I imagine that would feel pretty darn amazing. I think this is plastic. I don't think this is wood. I think it is made to look like wood, but it feels like plastic. It's very heavy though. It says relaxation is an essential part of a healthy lifestyle. Rejuvenate both mind and body from the stresses we encounter every day with the Gaiam Relax Ease Tension, Promote Calm, and Improve Overall Well-Being. Made in China. It says what they want you to do is place this in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes to freeze the gel. So there's a gel on the inside. I didn't even read that part. So that's why it's so heavy is there's a gel on the inside and that's gonna freeze. Very interesting. Next, I have the e-cooking, which I thought was interesting, anti-redness cream, and it is fragrance-free, specifically formulated to combat redness, irritation, and ideal for oily or acne-prone skin types. I didn't get to that part. I just got excited about the redness and irritation and hit order. Replaces day and or night cream for all ages. And this is what it looks like. It was 1.8 fluid ounces. Apply to clean skin morning or evening. Do not apply to dry skin. Do not apply to dry skin. That is interesting. Apply to clean skin morning or evening. Do not apply to dry skin. Like dry skin like I have dry skin or like dry skin like I've dried my skin. Now I can't put my lotion on. Interesting. How about letting me know what you think below about that? I'm not going to open this in case we decide it's if you have dry skin, don't use this. Because if that is the case, I can't use it. Interesting. So we're going to have to look into that. Next, I chose the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. I am always shocked by how little this bottle is for what it costs, but it is floor fluid ounces. And my mom uses it on the regular. So when it was on sale, it was like $11 off or something. I picked one up for her. The Kapari Coconut Oil Toothpaste. I decided this would be a fun time to give that a chance because if it leaves me with bad breath after a couple days, only my husband will know because we're stuck in this house. Ooh, it's like, it's like the Hulk may have had his hands on my toothpaste. It is made in the USA. Whiten teeth, freshen breath. Kapari coconut oil toothpaste. And it says it's fluoride free. So I just thought it was a healthier toothpaste version. I thought I'd give it a shot. Next, I have a Kosas Color and Light Cream, and it is a cream blush and highlighter. And I have been wanting to try this Kosas because they're known for being better for you. And this just seemed, it's called Eighth Muse is the color. It is an iconic pink rose duo for classic blush and just kissed flush. And for those of you keeping track, it's made in the USA. And that is what the container looks like. It is a nice hard plastic container. And on the back, it says Kosas and Eighth Muse, which is the color. Let's see how well I did with that tiny little picture. Oh, it is beautiful. It has unusual beads on top, but I'm sure it's fine. These colors are perfection for me. How beautiful are those? That pink and that highlighter. Let's swatch these and see what we think. So they are absolutely creamed. The, the blush feels like maybe it got hot or something. It's almost like there's something gritty on top of it. Oh, it seems to be melting away though. I'm just going over the whole top with my finger and it seems to be melting away, but it's super creamy. Oh, wow. 
That is very creamy for your face, but the color is beautiful. And then the highlighter. Oh, it's so pretty. I really hope that these work for me. You know, I tend to have dry skin, not so much in the summer, so this might be a set it away for the winter, but with a really light hand, I bet that is beautiful. And last but not least, yep, I did it again. I got a mystery bundle. They are $29. They guarantee you a value, I think, of more than $100. My first one was a year ago or so. It was absolutely horrific. It was, it was not a good one. I basically got uppers. It was some kind of diet pill that was loaded with caffeine and that kind of thing. I got a huge, I mean, I'm talking like this size, thick plastic keychain that said something about coffee, which is applicable in my life, but it was ridiculously huge. I got some spray your shoes fog to make your shoes not stink anymore. It was not a great one. My last one was fantastic. So I have tried really hard not to look at this bag. So I'm going to cut the string at the top and just reach down in here and see what we've got. The very first thing, the biggest thing that I have is sponge gel, cinnamon and honey. Okay, that sounds fantastic with extracts of yuzu, edelweiss, and vetiver. And it is two body wash infused buffers. So I got two spongelis. Now, the funny thing is, if you watched me unbox my FabFitFun video yesterday, which I'll put a card at the end of this in case you missed it, I talked about Spongel and how I don't think I do it right because people love these. I mean, they absolutely love them. They sell out so fast in all of the edit and add-on sales. People love them. I don't. I find them to be extremely hard in the shower. And then these are even different. These are just huge round discs. And then if you get them really wet to squeeze them to make them soft, like this is hard. If you squeeze them to make them soft after you've gotten them wet, you lose a lot of your soap from the squeezing it to make it softer. What are you supposed to do? Let me know below if you use these and like these. Let me know below what I'm supposed to do with it. I can smell the cinnamon honey scent through here and I can assure you I will be using these. So let me know below. Do you just, right from the beginning, do you get it super wet and give it a good squeeze even though you're losing a lot of the soap? Is that what you do? Or for the first few times that you use it, do you just suck it up and let it be a little too hard? Let me know. But these, I think they pretend like they're like $16 a piece, but you can get them in any edit sale on the face of the earth for like seven bucks. So to me, I think this is a $14 value. They probably think that it's a $30 value. Next, I have No BS Retinol Night Cream. This is nice if you use retinols. It is a one fluid ounce. This is what it looks like. I will take it out and show you the bottle, but I am not going to pump it. Oh, it's sealed. Is the bottom sealed? You know what, guys? It's sealed, and since I'm going to put this in a giveaway for one of you guys to try because it's completely sealed, I'm not even going to take it out of here. I don't use any of the vitamin A products, and that's retinol too, so I will put this in a giveaway. But just for the record, the back says, potent formulas, clean ingredients, no BS. Look, it has a picture of an X and a bowl. No BS. No parabens, no phthalates, no sulfates. No synthetic fragrances. It's gluten-free, and it is not tested on animals. Protect your moneymaker with this powerful cream that decongests pores and helps slow the effects of time by resurfacing the skin. So I will put that in a nice giveaway. Still a good product. Most people would have probably loved getting that product. Next I have, oh, I know what this is, I think, before I even get it out of here. It is an NCLA, and it's just a matter of whether it is one of their cuticle oils. I have two or three of them because I have purchased them. I like them a lot, mostly because I think cuticle oil is cuticle oil but the NCLA brand ones smell so good. They really do. Yep, it is the NCLA Treatment So Rich Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. And that is what that looks like. I'm very happy with that. I think I pick them up in edit sales for like five bucks, but, and they count the original value, not what they sell it in the edit sale for value. Oh, does that smell like brown sugar? Is that what rich smells like? I wanna be rich. <laughs> It smells really nice. I have to go online and see what they think So Rich smells like, but to me, it smells like brown sugar. Oh, you know, I own these, so you would think I would know this. 
guys. I just taped my FabFitFun box and now I've taped this one and I've been talking for way too long and apparently my brain has just bow, shut down. So rich is what their cuticle oils are and I know that. The scent of this is pumpkin spice. That's awesome. I'm going to set this aside, wait patiently for fall, and use it. I am actually using a beach one now, so I love that I have them for all the seasons now. I really like that. And last in the box, I have an Ish Hydromat lipstick in Curious. They are right. I am curious. That is what that looks like. Let's get in here and see. It's nice and sealed, so that's nice. I already have on purple with pumpkin over it. Are my lips huge now? I think they might be. Do my lips plump up with that? That's awesome. Oh, this is very attractive packaging. How 1950s gorgeous is that? I'm still curious though. What's happening? I, I don't think I'm putting this on. Nope. You guys let me know what you think about this, but that's what it looks like. Can you see that it's covered in in, in white? That is, that is not good, right? Yeah, I'm not even swatching that on my hand. That is, I hope you guys can see that. It better, actually it's better without my hand, isn't it? I think the color is under whatever that protective white coating is and I suspect it's mold. I'll go ahead, crank that down, put it in its nice, gorgeous packaging, put it back in the box. Pretend like that never happened. Okay, so here we are with mystery bundle number three. I have two sponge gels, very nice. Technically, they probably cover the cost of my box. Like I said, you can always pick them up in edit sales for like $7, but their value is probably 30, so that covers my box. I have a very nice retinol night cream that I will put in a giveaway, that's great. I have a very nice pumpkin spice cuticle oil that I'm very excited about. So between that and my sponge gels, excellent. And have this very questionable, let me know what you guys think below, lipstick that I'm not even willing to swatch, much less put on my lips. Should I let them know? Is it worth it over a lipstick? Probably not. Let me know below if you guys have ever had a dud in a mystery bundle and what they did about it. Okay, those are my add-ons. I'm gonna say the same thing that I did when I was done with my FabFitFun box. You guys know I have too much here. You don't want to watch me review it again. If you have any questions about anything that I showed you, just let me know below and I am happy to talk about it with you. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to come by two days in a row for these huge FabFitFun boxes. I will link my FabFitFun video at the end with cards and a couple of other videos in case you want to take a look. And again, thanks so much for coming by. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And I will see you guys really soon.